What's going on, guys? Man, it's been too damn long. We've... Dude, take off a mask, man. Dude, this no. COVID-19 stuff's driving well, me nuts. You still got the beard on. It looks like you still got a mask going on here. Makes me look like 10 bucks. That's all that matters. Hey, man, you know, last time, it's been a while since we've been able to communicate with you guys, but... Uh, Apparently we're hitting the second round of uh, COVID-19 and our phones have been uh, just busier than ever, uh, taking questions from people about uh, how COVID-19 do is going to affect the real estate market. Well, so what we've seen is uh, in our last videos, we talked about how we saw a little bit of spike in inventory, uh, went up to uh, just about 12,000 active in Maricopa County. Uh, well. We have seen a massive plummet in inventory. Right now we have just around 7,400 that's active here in Maricopa County, which is mind blowing. Before all this, we were just around 8,400. So that might put things into perspective for you. Yeah, and I know one of the biggest concerns that everybody has is, is how's COVID-19 impacting the real estate market as far as availability and more importantly, a property value. So we wanted just to throw out this numbers. Uh, in May of 2019, the average sales price was $341,441. May of 2020, and that is going through COVID-19, which obviously started the beginning of, of March, it was at $369,451. So we saw the average sales price, even through COVID-19, appreciate at 8.2%. And then last week, uh, the average sales price was $372,022. So really the message here is COVID-19 is not having any kind of impact on property values and they are continuing to go up. So that's great news for those of us that own homes. And for your passive income properties, rentals, so on and so forth, the market has remained strong through all that. It's been, uh, it really has been an anomaly as far as how is our purchasing market and our rental market staying so strong? We still haven't figured that one out, but it is. Um, we're having a, a massive surge in our jumbos too. Anything, and that's anything that has a loan amount of 510 or over, those have started to skyrocket as well. Matter of fact, over in the past couple of months, it's been over 41% yeah. that we've seen an increase on that. Yeah, and it's important to note that when COVID-19 hit, jumbo loan programs for the most part disappeared and they are now back in a full of vengeance and uh for all of you guys you guys are probably wanting to utilize that va loan if you haven't already right now rates are right around three percent which is ridiculous yeah so uh things are good and then back to the rental market for those of you that have rentals or thinking about turning a property into a rental there probably is no better place in the world to be a landlord than in Phoenix. Uh, we talk about inventory issues if you're going out looking for homes. Good luck if you're trying to rent something. So if you've got a rental property and or thinking about turning one into a rental property, the market could not be any better. We just wanna say thank you to you guys for your friendship, for your business, for your referrals. We've had the honor of helping a, helping a handful of you guys out. Uh, the Wimmers, uh, Matt Wimmer is going to be one of your flight docs, flight docs coming in here pretty quick. Uh, had an amazing time helping him and his family out and uh, really appreciate that. Uh, D-Rail. Yeah, we just got off the, we got off a of Zoom with D-Rail. For those of you who remember D-Rail, he's doing freaking good in Florida. We're going to, we're going to hop on out there in, in uh, August and do some fishing if the state of Florida will have us. <laughs> well, they might let, not let you, but yeah. you know, I'll be good to go. Uh, and it was awesome uh, <laughs> helping Flash get into his incredible house there in uh, Litchfield Greens. And I, I know Ryan extended his uh, gratitude, but more importantly, because I'm the nice guy in the relationship, I, uh, I want to thank you for your service. Thank you guys. Appreciate you. <laughs> I know this is when you say I'm a dick. Oh, you're a dick. <laughs>